guys, Neely here coming in for another quick recipe for you and today I am going to be doing my uh, Good Girl Moonshine Concentrate recipe. Uh, there is There are several different recipes for Good Girl Moonshine variations on the original and I really enjoy the original but I don't like making a batch of it, uh, a one serving of it every time I want some. I like to make a big jar of it of this concentrate and then whenever I have the hankering for some moonshine I can just fill up my jar um, with some water and ice and put in my little bit of concentrate and I got my um, good girl moonshine ready to go. I do not like so much the uh, powdered ginger so I use the fresh ginger and since I'm going to be using my blender and blending it all up and then straining it I don't even bother peeling it. Um, I just make sure I wash it real good and scrub it like you would a potato or something to make sure you get all the dirt off. I'm going to be making about what will come to 20 quarts worth of Good Girl Moonshine um, in concentrate. And so I do about 250 grams of ginger. And I always use my kitchen scale for cooking. I hardly ever use um, measuring cups anymore because a scale is so much more accurate and it's super easy. And I just weigh it on here. And this is 269 grams. It doesn't have to be exact. Around 200 to 250, 300, anywhere in there is going to be fine. So I'm going to just break this up into a little bit smaller pieces and put it into my blender. And then I like to do about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar per quart. And so since I'm doing 20 servings, 20 quarts worth, 30 grams per two tablespoons, and if I'm doing that times 20, that comes out to 600 grams of um, apple cider vinegar for my concentrate. So I do that on my scale again. I just zeroed out my scale, and I'm going to dump in until I get to 600 grams. Next, I'm going to add about four cups of water. The last thing I'm going to add is some cinnamon, and this is not in the original Good Girl Moonshine recipe, but I really like the extra flavor that cinnamon adds, and it also has a lot of health benefits like regulating blood sugar and all that good stuff. So it's an excellent addition uh, to your Good Girl Moonshine, and I also find on the cinnamon that I don't like um, just adding cinnamon to a drink because I don't like the grittiness of it in the drink, but since I'm going to be straining this out, I will blend it in there with everything and then strain out all the fiber and it will not leave any of the grittiness. And I don't really measure this, I just kind of dump in some, probably two to three, four tablespoons, something like that. Now if you know how much sweetener you like per quart of Good Girl Moonshine, you can go ahead and add that now too. What you do is just take the amount that you normally do in one quart and multiply that times 20 and put that in there, but if this is your first time making the concentrate or you're not really, um, you don't make Good Girl Moonshine a lot and you don't know how much you like in there, it's better just to kind of wait and do each quart on its own so that you don't get too much in there and then you're not able to adjust it later. So, so I'm going to go ahead and put this um, on the blender and blend it all up. All right, I got it all blended up um, in my Vitamix. It took like a minute maybe, and then now it's time to strain it. So now what I'm doing is just pouring this uh, blended up mixture in through this, um, it's called a nut milk bag. It's for making like almond milk or any kind of nut milk. And this is the most time consuming part of the whole process because you have to kind of squeeze slowly and get all the juice out without getting the fiber. So you just kind of pour in a little, you squeeze it out, you pour in a little, squeeze it out. So I pour in a little and then try to carefully and gently twist the top to squeeze out the stuff from the bottom without making a mess, but you pretty much are guaranteed to make a mess with this. Um, it's a messy process, but remember, this is 20 quarts of Good Girl Moonshine, so this will last you, well, if you're like me and like to drink two quarts a day, this will last you 10 days, <laughs> so a week and a half worth. So there we go. I strained it all out and I actually emptied this bag a couple of times because um, it gets so much fiber in there that it makes it difficult to continue to push the liquid through. And this is my Good Girl Moonshine Concentrate. 
So now what I want to do is find out exactly how much concentrate I have here. And each time I make it, it's a little bit different just because there's a different amount of ginger, a different amount of water, just variations. So whenever I finish a batch, I want to weigh to figure out how much is in here and then divide that by 20 so I know how much exactly I put into each quart uh, when I'm ready to have a quart of Good Girl Moonshine. So to, to weigh it, I just take an empty jar that's the same as the one I have my uh, concentrate in. I put it on my scale and I zero it out and then I take it off and set my full jar on there. So I just took off the weight of the jar so I know I'm only weighing the liquid on the inside and I have exactly 1500 grams which is 75 grams per quart. 1500 divided by 20 is 75 and yes I did that before I started talking. I didn't do that in my head just now. So then I put on my handy dandy flip top lid on my jar and I just keep this in the fridge and when I'm ready to have a quart of Good Girl Moonshine I get a quart jar and I fill it up with water and ice and I fill it all the way almost to the top because 75 grams is just a little over a fourth of a cup so there's very little that's going to go in here that is the concentrate so basically I zero that out and then I put in my 75 grams stir that up add my sweetener and I usually use a blend of the stevia and the erythritol and it turns out perfectly. I know exactly how much I need uh, to make it just the way I like it. And then I just can sip on that all day. And if I want another, I don't have to get out my blender. All I have to do is go to the fridge and I've got all of this ready waiting for me. That is my Good Girl Moonshine Concentrate recipe. Let me know if you have any questions and let me know any variations that you like of Good Girl Moonshine because at this point you can use this as your base and then if you want to add some uh, lemon juice or extracts or strawberries or anything like that then you can do it now and you don't have to make a whole batch every single time. So that's it guys. I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you again next time. Bye!